Well, what we've got here is a 1958 Evinrude Fast Twin that I picked up recently from a gentleman uh, who told me that his father bought it new in 1958 when he was a child and um, used it regularly, but uh, at a certain point um, put it away and it sat for about 20 years and that's about when I picked it up. So this is a, a very nice uh, original uh, motor with uh, very nice paint and the emblem and decals look very nice. Uh, the motor was not running when I got it because it sat and I needed to do uh, some work to it. I got a nice uh, homemade cart with the motor and I also got uh, an original pressure tank. The pressure tank was painted on the outside but the inside was nice shiny metal. I've done a few things to the motor in preparation of trying to get it started. I've actually had several attempts of trying to get it started which has led me to do some additional things. Um, over here is kind of my parts pile that I've uh, kind of shown accumulation of things. I did have spark on the motor but I decided to check the coils as a recommendation and I discovered that they are very cracked and would not have lasted at all. I've also replaced the impeller even though the original impeller is in quite good condition, no cracks, it's still flexible. I'll just use that as a keeper and maybe I'll use it somewhere else. I decided to replace the ignition and total ignition, the points and the condenser while I was out there. Um, the high speed needle was actually slightly bent, not the tip, but the shaft, and it just caused the knob to wobble as it was turned. And I came across a new old stock needle, so I decided to replace that as well because I couldn't really get it uh, straightened out very well. Uh, right here is an example of a tool purchased from Frank Robb uh, to repair the two line pressure O rings. Uh, I discovered on one of my earlier attempts of at trying to start the motor that the air uh, line was leaking and the o-ring was actually broken so I'm happy I've had that tool for a while and just haven't really had a chance to use it. Uh, looking at the motor though, uh, like I mentioned, very nice condition. Opening it up, uh, she looks very nice on the inside. I do have some paint that's uh, removed from the uh, the head. Head has not been off, but uh, believe it or not, this is a salt water motor, and um, it just has a little bit of uh, uh, paint removal because of uh, the salt air. But otherwise, the, the exterior is in very nice condition. It's got the original uh, safety strap right here to prevent the cowl from flopping over. I um, replaced, uh, not replaced, but trimmed up um, all the fuel lines so I have fresh connections. I still have to uh, complete that one right there. And I trimmed the spark plug wires to get some fresh copper. Um, I've gone through the carb because of earlier starting opportunities showed me that the carb uh, was maybe a cause. I opened it up to discover it was very clean and doubtful if that was any of my issues with starting. Uh, I think maybe possibly um, more than likely was my air link, uh, air leak on the two-line pressure tank. Uh, but I did go through the carb. I did not really replace anything besides the, the bowl gasket and the high-speed nozzle gasket. Um, I think she's tuned up. I've got the needle set to three-quarters out, both the top and the bottom. It was recommended at uh, one and a half turns or excuse me, one and a quarter turns on the low, low speed needle, but I think that was actually a little bit uh, too far out and it was running too rich and causing the motor to flood. Um, but this is a very nice motor and again I'm very pleased with Punch to have it. I did promise the gentleman that I purchased it from when I got it running that I would uh, give him a video of it running. But uh, nice motor, nice decals, nice cart. Just uh, really happy to have this motor. I'm anxious to, uh, this spring to be able to try it out on the water. But for today, I'm going to try to get it started in the bucket 
for like the fifth time and I hope that every, all my ducks in a row now so it will actually start. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this on pause and fill out a bucket of water. All right, I'm back. I've got the uh, water filled up in my bucket uh, past the uh, water pump. I uh, went ahead and attached that one fuel line to the carb bowl. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, attach the uh, two line pressure uh, line to here, pump up uh, some fuel into the uh, fuel filter and therefore into the carb and hopefully uh, everything's working well in my carb and this thing is going to start today. That is my goal. I did have it running for maybe 15-20 seconds before but it just would not stay running. So let's give her a go. Okay, so she appears to be pumped up. I'm going to see if I can go ahead and start this. Running longer than she's ever run in a long time. Well, I think we solved our problem. Uh, reason why it wasn't revving up because it wasn't in gear as you can see there's quite a bit of power there uh, I need to get this thing out on a boat that's uh, that's the plan I'm just gonna let her idle again Pretty good. Idling pretty smooth. Can't wait to uh, get her on a boat and see what she can do. But I'm I'm thinking she is just gonna go. I mentioned the swivel black bracket is loosened up a little bit, which is really nice. Alright, we'll see you next time out on the water.